My name is Susan Carr, and I'm an artist living on Cape Cod, Massachusetts. When I was a child, there was trauma and uncertainty both in the world and in my home. Art became a refuge, a place of wonder and happiness. I now see making joyful work as a political statement and necessary self-care. My children have always been a great source of joy in my life, even though it hasn't always been easy for us. As I was a very young single mother for quite a bit of their childhood until I met my husband. I lost my middle son eight years ago to a fentanyl overdose and his memory completely influences my work and all that I do. I think it's important for people who have lost a child or loved one to know that sorrow is part of our journey here on this planet and helping others ease his pain. I celebrate my son and all of my art, but I feel I am collaborating with him when I make my eye paintings. I have been influenced by all of the painters I have met online. Art making can be a hard journey sometimes and fellow artists motivate and encourage me, and I can only hope that I can do the same for them. I find inspiration from many different sources, including memory, dreams, poetry, mythology, medieval illuminated manuscripts, geometry, photography, abstraction, and cartoons. Lately, I have been focused on painting shells as portraits, plus making wood and ceramic sculpture. I would like to continue work on my fairy tale and eye paintings. I have been thinking of doing fringe album covers for a long time now, and I think that would be fun. The biggest challenges I think that face any artist is time and money. The advice I would give to my younger self would be don't take anything for granted as each moment is precious and time moves very quickly. The moment is really all that we ultimately have. I have tried unconventional mediums. At one point, I taught children art and used things like ketchup, food coloring, tea and vegetables to paint and to make prints. It was a lot of fun. I listen to all kinds of podcasts in the studio. Hearing voices in the background is kind of like white noise. <laughs> so I, uh, I listen to music when I'm working out or I'm walking, but I listen to podcasts while I'm in the studio or I just don't have anything on um, and I just listen to my thoughts. The best reaction someone had to my work was happiness. Um, they were happy to have it in their space. They felt joy and that made me feel amazing. An emotional reaction, hopefully a positive emotional reaction, is what I hope people take away from my work. I hope they feel something. I will be in a group show called Painting Deconstructed at Ortega Y. Gasset showing sculpture in Brooklyn on May 18th with some amazing artists. I have another group show in New York City in the summer at Steve Harvey Fine Art that I'm so excited about. And also my yearly solo show at Lab Space Art in Upper State New York in the fall. Lab Space has been integral to my practice, and I'm thrilled to be exhibiting my new work there. <laughs>